simulated lab, we're going to have a student stretching their spring to different lengths. They're going to record the length of the spring and also the force that was required to stretch it to that length. The data will be given to you in a data table, force as the x, length as the y, the student changed the force and measured the length. So then you just take that data, put it into your graphing program, force on the x, length on the y. Just transpose your data. When you then graph it, you'll see a linear relationship. When you curve fit it, you're going to get a y equals mx plus b equation. The important thing from this graph is the b value the y-intercept. It is 288 millimeters. What that represents is the length of the spring before any force is applied. It is the original length of the spring, 288 millimeters. Okay, once we are done the first graph and we take away from that first graph the original length of the spring, we could then use that to plot out a new graph and in our new graph we're going to be plotting force and stretch. To get the stretch you simply take your length and minus off the 288. That's the original length of the spring. Your spring will have a different length but whatever you got as your first y-intercept that will be subtracted from every single length. You then take those values that you get when you subtract and put them into your new data table. So we now have 311 minus 288. That gives us a stretch of 23 millimeters. Then we do 381 minus 288. That gives us a stretch of 93 millimeters. 470 minus 288, 182. 528 minus 288 gives us 240. 580 minus 288 gives me 292. 687 minus 288 gives me 399. Okay, once I have all of my stretches in there, I want to change them into meters. They're already in millimeters, so I just move the decimal point three spots, and I've got my stretches in meters. I now graph it out. I now have a proportional graph. It goes through the origin, and the number that I want to take away from this is the slope. The slope tells you the spring constant, the k value for the spring. This tells you how hard it is to stretch the spring. I get 10.37 newtons per meter. To check that I did this right, I go into my program, I click on the end button, I enter in my name, I put in the spring constant, I put in the original length, I then submit. It should tell you, if you did it all right, that your answers were within the allowable range. If you're curious on how close you were, you can take a look and you can see I was very close to getting exactly the right answers.